Hey there everybody, JB here, welcoming you to episode 16 of Let's Play Ships Challenge. And in this episode we got a very interesting level ahead of us, as you can see. City Block is the name of it. And before we move on and attack this whole level, I want you to take note of the block formation down there, just so you can have an idea of what you might want to do at the very end. So as you can see, that's the exit area. And up here we got our little city with lots of blocks. I guess these are like skyscrapers or something. And I'm just going to go ahead and take care of these. You can see, these are wedges. This was one of the levels I was referring to earlier on when we were playing fourplex, uh, when I said that we'd be experiencing more wedgeness later on in the game. So yeah, this is very easy to take care of. You can't use those blocks for anything else, unfortunately, but you can uh, get ships there, which is ultimately what we want to do. Now, over here, we have to start building around the city. And maybe these are like city streets or something, these water things, or I don't know, but maybe these are meant to look like skyscrapers and the water's meant to look like city streets or and like all those little floor spaces or buildings or something. I'm not sure, but anyway, what you want to do ultimately is figure out that all the chips are located at the edges of the level. And that includes the left edge. Yeah, so we're going to have to go all the way over there. But the good news is, though, is that we can save some time because there are some blocks, as you'll see. Let me show you over here. There are some blocks located down there in that force floor section. Now, you can't see that right now, but trust me, they're there. And those are the blocks that we're going to use to bridge over to um, the other section. Of, on the left side of the level, that is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fill up this column right here so we can do that. And whoops, forgot to open that up. And actually, what I might want to do first is just go ahead and take care of this because this right here, we won't need to come back up to the top. So if we can go and take care of that now, that would be really awesome. So yeah, this level does take a while, but it's a little bit less homogenous than Rider's Block, I gotta admit. I mean, it does still involve a lot of repetitive block pushing, but as long as you don't make a misstep, you're okay. Now, the one thing that is rather annoying, and I know I'm speaking out against something that's in between a chip socket and an exit here, but at the very end, there is quite an interesting challenge where you have to push some blocks around to get to the exit. Not as a water, but just maneuvering blocks around. And I've got to admit, that challenge is way too hard for something right before the end of a very long level. And to be quite frank, this is the type of thing that we're trying to avoid with CCLP3. And if there's any levels that involve some really annoying skill-based thing at the very end of a really long level, we're trying to address that. Because it's just very bad if you're playing a level and that happens. I mean, i got to admit, it really is just quite obnoxious. So, sorry to any level designers that I said obnoxious. I, I didn't mean this as a reflection of you, but I've made this mistake too, guys. So, I'll admit it. I, I've made this mistake. So, if you're designing levels, just do keep that in mind. If it's long, please don't put some skill-based challenge at the end because that can get really, really bad. All right. So, we, as you can see earlier, we got all the chips over there. And, okay, wasted a couple of blocks there, but we can retrieve them after we fill up all this water. So let's go ahead and do that. We can just turn our blocks around there, push them down there. And honestly, I kind of forgot what the bold route for this level is like. And well, actually, I don't even know the bold route because only one person knows it. But uh, the route that's close to the bold route for this level, I kind of forgot what it's like. So I'm just kind of making up my own route here. And I'm hoping this route is good. So we can go down to the fourth floor area here in just a sec. But before we do that, there's something I want to do first, and you'll see why. There's an exit to the fourth floor area that's located a little uh, ways down here. And I want to use that exit instead of going back. So I'm just going to bridge a few more blocks, and hopefully this will work out. So let's see if we can catch a glimpse. Yeah, there it is, right there. So let's just bridge a couple more blocks, and we should be A-OK. -okay. Uh, this part right here is going to be really bad. I can tell you that much. 
We, just, we do have to use a little bit of logic there to figure out that toggle block puzzle right there. Um, but if you're going through that blind, you you want to take your time. You want to be careful. Because if you don't take your time there, it could be bad. In fact, let's go ahead and do this. Um, if we push this there, then we can move there. And Okay, I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. What you have to do is push this. Oh, wait. Did I just... Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, if we push that down. Okay, I'm hoping this is the right way to do this. Okay, that's not possible in Lynx mode, by the way. So, yeah, just just take note of that. That's not possible in Lynx mode. Flicking blocks off of toggle walls like that. So, yeah, if this is correct... Okay, I'm hoping that we still have enough blocks to use. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, at least we got the chip. That's the main thing. If you trap the chip in there, that's what you want to avoid doing. You don't want to trap the chip in there. You want to make sure the chip's accessible. That's the one thing you want to make sure of. Okay, so now we got that path going. Let's go down here. And as you can see, there's some blocks that are placed here. And there are chips that are uh, right next to them. Let me show you that. So you, there are some block sliding that you have to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring around a few more blocks and bridge over here. And then here's a wedge thing here that we can do. So let's do that. Okay, once again, flicking blocks like that's not legal in Lynx mode. So I probably broke this the, the way it's supposed to be. But anyhow... Let's just try it going over here. So pretty much once we're done with all this block pushing, the very end is all we have left to worry about. And I'm not sure if the very end is why this level is rated a full 5 on the wiki, because it's another one of those levels that is rated a full 5, and I would probably give it a 4, to be honest. It's pretty difficult, the very end thing, once you do all this tedious block pushing. I wouldn't say it's incredibly hard though because you can catch a glimpse of one part of it at the very beginning and if you take note of that it does help you out because it's pretty much the part by the exit that's the most important part and right now we've just hit about let's see how much time have we got left we got okay we've taken up about seven minutes almost eight minutes now so we got plenty of time and we got two blocks that we need to push in there from here before we start using the blocks from the force floor and ice room so I think we're in pretty good shape as far as blocks go so no need to worry about a block shortage I think we're gonna handle it just fine okay over here we can do that okay we're good we're good we're good we're good I'm really tempted to sing a uh, summer in the city by the love and spoonful right now but I'm gonna try to limit the singing I do uh, in this LP to a minimum so you don't need to worry about hearing me sing again. Morton was probably not a very good idea as far as singing goes. Okay. Now I'm trying to remember. Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. We do want to use... Uh... Wait, we can do that. Okay. Let's just start using blocks here. I think we will need to use a couple more from the other room, but it should be all right. So let's just go ahead and do this. So we will need to fill up the... Uh, the additional spaces on the bottom, so we want to keep that in mind. Maybe the block sliding is the other reason this level was rated a 5. I mean, it doesn't take much to get out of the way there, but if you don't know that there's a chip there, that could be kind of bad. So, especially after pushing blocks a long way. Okay, one more to push here, and then we'll grab two more from the city area and bring them down here. So yeah, aside from all the tediousness, I mean, I actually like this level a lot. It's not quite that bad. You just have to know where you're going, know how to use the bottom room effectively, and once again, I know this LP is not a blind LP, and I do apologize for that, because I think it would be a lot more fun if I was just bumbling around for the first time. Maybe not on a level like this, but I think it would generally be more interesting if... You know, you capture someone just trying to figure it all out for themselves without knowing anything about the game at first. But unfortunately, we can't do that here. 
And for anyone who's going to ask, I know some people are probably going to ask this at some point. And right now, as I'm as I'm talking right now, I've just uploaded part seven of the LP to YouTube. Some people are probably going to ask if I'm going to do CCLP three. And yes, I will do CCLP three. Just so you know, I definitely cannot do that part that level set blind just because I've been involved in producing it. And I um and now I can go here. Hang on a sec. How do we do this exactly? We Okay, hang on a sec, guys. Okay, I know there's some way you do this, but I'm probably missing something completely here. Okay. Do you have to push this here and then go all the way around? I guess you do. Okay. Maybe I'm missing something, but I just want to be playing it safe here. Okay, so just go around like this and... Really? Hang on. Because you have to push these out here, right? I mean... So what do you do at the bottom? There's got to be a way to... Oh, you probably have to waste this. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Yeah, you probably can't use that block. Okay. All right, mystery solved, folks. I think I understand now. Sorry for the delay there. Okay, so we can go down here. And that's what that extra floor space there is for, so you can do that. There we go. Okay, so we can use one more block from this room. So let's just push it up here. We've only got a few chips left. So we're doing good. Or excuse me, doing well. Oh, man. See, I love grammar and everything, but I'm so horrible at it sometimes. Yes, I do love grammar. I'm going to admit that. I am kind of weird in that regard. I do like grammar. And it always... Okay, one of the things that always gets me is when people use the uh, objective... Uh, subject in or subject pronoun in uh, a subjective way like him and I did that you know like you wouldn't say him did that it's he and I did that you know and same thing with the word only you know the word only is one of those words that people misuse like all the time like it only took me five hours whereas it should be it took me only five hours I don't know why people do that but maybe it just lessens the impact or or it sounds different sounds better or I don't know something something like that one of those great mysteries of life and we got wait we got one chip oh wait it's a chip behind the city thing that's right that's right okay so we only got one more block here folks okay so let's just move all these blocks out of the way so we can get in there like this there we go that was simple and this is the only one we need as far as I know so let's just go over here and by the way, one mistake that I made on this when I played this when I, as a kid was over here, when I pushed this down, yes, I did push this in there one time. When I still needed to go there, that is. And that was not a good idea. Alright, now we're about to head to a room that I personally have not been in very much, just because I don't really play this level as a general rule. What you want to do here is you want to make sure you don't push the, this block any further than that. Go around it and go over here. And you want to push this one here. You could, Like I said, you can catch a glimpse of this room in the beginning area. So go here. Keep this there. And as far as I know, you just have to do this. There we go. And you can get to the exit that way. Before I go to the exit, though, I'm going to show you a slightly different way to do this. Or did I just mess it up? Hang on. No, no, I didn't. You can go this way for a slightly lighter solution. You can kind of do something like this. Hang on. Okay, I just messed that up. Okay, let's go back. Before I make any more mistakes, here we go. Let's go to the exit. All right, city block completed, everybody. We can now move on to Spirals, a very fun level that we will tackle next time. So for now, this is JB saying goodbye, and thanks for watching this. I'm hoping it's not uh, too boring of a video, but I hope it was helpful, and I will see you next time. So take care, everybody.